Kato Kaopeng, welcome back to statics. So let's solve this problem. So we have these two buckets being held by these three cables, and all we're given is the weight of A is 60 pounds. And we're trying to find the weight of bucket B that allows these cables to hold it in this such position. So let's go ahead and solve for that. So how are we gonna do this? Well, we have how many unknowns? Well, we're given one weight, and we have one, two, three cables, so there's three tensions that we don't know, and we have a weight. So there's four unknowns, basically, that we're gonna need to solve for. Uh, so let's, where are we going to start? Well, if we start at bucket B, we can start at this cross-section of these three tensions interacting, but that's going to give us three unknowns. And if we have an equation, with, or we have a system of equations, we can only write two equations. Right, the two equations that we have in our bucket are some of the forces x is equal to zero, and some of the forces y is equal to zero. So this is true in equilibrium at either of these points, here or here. Uh, but if we only have two equations and three unknowns, we can't solve because we only can solve as many unknowns as equations we have. So basically what we need is we need to find one of these unknowns. And we can't find B right off the bat because that's what we're solving for. So clearly we need to find another tension. So the tension I want to find is CF, this tension here, because it starts here where we already know something. We know the weight of A. So we're going to start by trying to find the tension in CF. So let's draw a force body diagram at F. So here's F, we have the weight of our bucket pushing down, which is 60 pounds. That's pulling us down here from A. Now we have the tension from EF here. So this can be tension EF. This is at a 40 degree angle. And then we have tension CF, which is pulling here at a 20 degree angle. Now we're trying to solve for CF, so let's go ahead and try to do that. Well, the problem is we have two unknowns here, so we need to do a system of equations. So let's start with the first one. Some of the forces x is equal to zero. So we have tension EF pointing to the left, so we're going to subtract tension EF. And then we need to attach cosine of 40 because that's the side of the triangle. We're looking for the x direction, which is going to be the bottom of this triangle, which is adjacent. And if we're doing adjacent, we attach a cosine. So tension CF is pulling to the right, so we're going to add tension CF of sine of 20, because that's the angle it's at. So those are all of our forces in the x, set it equal to zero. Now we're gonna to wanna to be able to solve in terms of tension CF, because we don't care about tension EF exactly, because we're trying to buy this tension. So let's write this in terms of tension EF. We're gonna do that by moving this to the other side. So we're gonna set it to equal to tension CF, uh, because we're gonna subtract this to the other side, and it's going to be the ratio of cosine of 20 over cosine of 40, because I divided by this cosine of 40. So you can do that math on your own to get this equation. So now let's do our next equation, sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. So of course we have tension, EF, and instead of etching a cosine of 40, we're going to attach sine of 40 degrees, because we're looking for this side of the triangle, the vertical component, which is opposite, and opposite correlates to sine. So again, we're going to do the same thing, tension CF, sine of 20 degrees, and then the 60 pounds is pushing straight down, so subtract 60, set equal to zero. So now, we want to solve for tension CF, we have two unknowns in this equation, but what we can do is we can replace this tension EF with this, what we found tension CF to be. So this is going to become tension CF, cosine, uh, sorry, not like that, I'm going to attach cosine of 20, over cosine of 40 times sine of 40 plus tension CF sine of 20. And let's move that 60 to the other side to get it equal to a positive 60. So now we can factor out a tension CF here to get tension CF being multiplied by all of this on the inside. So cosine 20 over cos uh, cosine 40 times sine of 40 can be the same as cosine of 20 times tangent of 20, because sine over cosine is tangent. Oh, sorry, this is gonna be tangent of 40. And then this tangent, or this TCF, it's got factored out, so it's gonna be sine of 20, and that's all gonna be equal to 60. So now what we can do is we can take tangent CF and set it equal to this, divided by all of this brief bracket here. So it'll be 60 over cosine 20, tangent 40 plus sine of 20. Right. So do the math on this, um, and you're going to get that. I'm going to write it up here. 
pension CF is equal to 53.1 pounds. That's one, that's the one that you were solving for. Now we could go ahead and solve tension EF if you wanted to by plugging it back into this equation, or right, tension CF just goes right in here. But tension EF is not gonna be important for this problem, so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. And we could just move on to our second free body diagram. So hopefully you got the snap copy down, pause the front video if not, but we're gonna move on. So now we're looking at point C because now that we know this tension, we have two unknowns, but we can use the two equations to solve for it. So now we're at point C, let's draw our tensions. So this one here is tension CF, but we just found that earlier, so we can label this 53.1 pounds, and we know that it's at a 20 degree angle. Now here we have the weight of B, which is what we're solving for. And then here we have tension uh, CB, which is at a 65 degree angle there. Perfect, so let's go ahead and solve. So really quickly, uh, if we do some of the forces in the Y, we're gonna have all three of these. But if we do some of the forces X, we only have these two, so we can easily solve for tension CD. So let's do some of the forces X is equal to zero. It's gonna be negative 53.1 because this is pushing to the left. And we're looking for the X component, which is adjacent. Uh, so we're gonna add the cosine of 20 degrees. And then for this one, it's gonna be plus tension CD. We're looking for the X component, which is adjacent to the 65. So it's gonna be cosine 65 equal to zero. So then we're gonna move that to the other side to get tension CE. Cosine of 65 is equal to 53 by one, cosine of 20. Divide by cosine of 65, and you get that tension CD is equal to 118 pounds. Cool, so now all I need to find is weight of B, and we can do that with our last equation. Sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. So we're gonna do, right, negative 53, and one is pulling down, and we're looking for the opposite, so sine of 20. And we're gonna add tension CD, which is 118 pounds, sine of 65, because we're looking for the y component, which is opposite, and then minus weight of B. Set that equal to zero. Move the weight of B to the other side, and your champ weight of B is equal to all of this stuff, which if you solve it, you get 88.6 pounds. 88.8 pounds, sorry. And that's your final answer. So your weight of this bucket to bolt it in this position is 88.8 pounds. So thanks for watching the video. Appreciate the help and the support on these videos. If you have any more questions or more problems from the book you'd like to see solved, let me know and check out my playlist where I have a bunch of them solved already. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.